In this video, I'm going to explain AIML properties. If you create a bot using pre-existing content, such as the Alice bot, then you'll see, if you click on the Properties tab, a large number of AIML bot properties. If you select a bot you've created yourself, and look at the Properties tab, you'll see that you can add your own properties. Now, the reason for adding bot properties is to create parameterizable bots so that, for example, it's easy for the ultimate user of the bot to change the bot's name or gender. In this case, we'll add a bot property named name with a value unique. And as we can see, it generates an error message. There's already a bot property named name, which is attached to the name of the bot we created originally, specifically unique. So let's try to create a different bot property with the value age. Okay, we've created a bot property with the value 100 years. Of course, if we try chatting with the bot, it doesn't have a response for its age. Let's add one using the advanced alter response. The bot properties are accessed using the tag bot. Now if we ask again, the bot says its age is 100 years. And remember, we use the reduction AIML to add all of the variants of asking the term age. using the recursive SRAI tag, we link the response to how old are you to the same response as age. We can also ask the bot's gender. Let's add a response for gender. Again, using the bot tag. If we try to ask the gender now, the response is my gender is blank because we haven't added the bot property for gender yet. So let's return to the properties tab and add a bot property called gender with the value male. Now go back to the bot training menu and try asking the bot's gender again. Of course, there are many different ways of asking the bot's gender, so we'll add some of those to the reduce file.
we can ask the bot, are you a man? Are you a woman? And link all of those responses to the response for gender. Now go back to chatting with the bot. And we can use the bot property to get the same answer for all of those. Now let's add one more for the bot's location. We can try training the bot. And we can see it once again, we have not yet added a bot property for location. Under the properties tab, let's add another bot property named location with the value in Oakland, California. Actually, let's just make that Oakland, California with no punctuation. Then we can ask the bot again for its location. Now let's return for a moment to the reductions. One of the most common things people ask each other in online chat is the question ASL, which stands for Age, Sex, Location. We can easily implement the ASL request using the SRAI recursive reductions in AIML. We simply connect the response to the response for age, the response to gender, and the response to location. And now we can ask our bot ASL. It says, my age is 100 years, my gender is male, and I am in Oakland, California. <laughs>